County. I'm headed westbound on I-20. A tornado watch is coming out shortly for the likelihood of QLCS tornadoes or a quasi-linear convective system event. Basically a squall line surges from west to east across the mid-south. So I do expect probably multiple tornadoes, maybe even dozens as this squall line marches across. Storm chase mode is activated. has been issued and storms are getting more vigorous to the south of Columbus. That's the nose of the instability and the instability, the heat and the moisture at the low levels increases as I'm going south and the Storm Prediction Center has even mentioned the threat of a strong tornado or two with discrete supercell development possible. Right now that line is rapidly approaching me and intensifying. No tornado warnings yet, but I expect several tornado warnings to be issued as we go through the afternoon today. Holy cow! Look at that! It is spinning in there! Meteorologist Reed Timmer just north of Macon, Mississippi, tracking a squall line with tornado potential that is moving from west to east, gradually approaching the Alabama Mississippi border. Very strong wind shear out ahead of this squall line with zero to one kilometer storm relative helicity in excess of 300 meters squared per second squared, even supportive of a strong tornado or two embedded within this squall line. And if a discrete supercell is able to form, watching this storm. You can see that dark mass. That's an area of heavier rain and just to the south of it there's been a persistent lowering or what we call scud. Basically the formation of a wall cloud right there. So I'm watching this portion of the squall line to see if it's able to pull in some inflow, develop a kink in the line, and may even develop a QLCS tornado threat as it pushes east. East of Macon eventually impacting the Tuscaloosa and Birmingham, Alabama areas. So definitely uh, uh, many more tornado warnings to come. I'm just north of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and here is the shelf cloud. This is the squall line that is pushing from west to east. This has had a couple of circulations within it and near tornado warnings a few times. You've got southerly winds streaming from south to north on the front edge. On the back end, you've got right to left motion. That's called differential motion or spin. They are associated with about 40 to 50 mile per hour winds and also possible tornadoes. There is a tornado watch that's in effect and there's very strong wind shear 
uh, that's excited by a 50 knot low level jet just to the east of this shelf cloud and that's going to create the situation where a spin up tornado, a QLCS tornado or a quasi linear convective system tornado is possible up and down this line. But you can definitely see this well defined shelf cloud as this uh, squall line is pushing from west to east and eventually this is going to move through Tuscaloosa and Birmingham, Alabama with heavy rain, gusty winds. I think that the tornado threat is relatively low, but sometimes these QLCS events just come out of nowhere. You'll have no, uh, zero tornado warnings the entire day and then bam, it's like a switch goes off and suddenly you have numerous tornado warnings up and down the line. So I'm just monitoring this line, staying just ahead of it, waiting for that to happen when uh, tornado vortices uh, begin to develop up and down the shared gust front of the squall line that's pushing east across the Mid-South. setting sun so far. Severe weather has been limited. There have been a couple cases where we nearly had a QLCS tornado. Definitely had rotation along the gust front to the north of Tuscaloosa, but now it looks like that squall line is starting to push off to the east. No tornadoes reported today, although the tornado watch continues as the squall line continues to push threat, but it looks like this elevated mix layer lagged behind the squall line just a bit preventing a more significant severe weather event today. Definitely dodged the bullet today. Not very much at all in the way of damage, which is always a good thing at the end of these severe weather events. 